guys, Michelle here. Um, today I'm gonna to talk to you about best practices of how you can help your student engage with this upcoming distance learning format. So E, EdTech. EdTech is a great way uh, to engage the student primarily because it allows the student to have various different ways to how they would submit their assignments to their teachers. Um, also increases the likelihood for social interaction with their peers via virtual study groups or even online discussion forums. In no, noticing your students' emotions or their changing their behaviors, um, ensuring that uh, the student's aware of how to best self-soothe, um, coping skills or, or common skills that are already utilized in the home to reduce the stress um, level in, re, in, re, in relation to in accessing their education in a distance learning format. G, gradually, having that discussion with the student's teacher to ensure that the content that's going to be presented is going to be um, gradual. Allow that, that allows the student to have uh, the best way to engage with their, their teacher, um, also afford the teacher the opportunity for any feedback and how the student is connecting with their content in the classroom. A, assistive technology. So assistive technology is a great tool because it increases the self-confidence and self-determination of that student. It lowers the possibility for any intimidation that that student may have with that class content that's being presented, as well as increases the likelihood um, with inclusion with their peers. Um, G, gaming find task. So gaming find task is a great way to have the student connect, make those connections with the content in the classroom. Um, for example, in the event that the student may be a younger student and the teacher is utilizing scavenger hunts, um, that is a great way for the student to engage with the content. For example, um, the student may be a, um, directed to find things around the house to start with a B or the B sound, or even look for things around the house that are a certain uh, shape or color. E, equity. Now everyone has equal access to their education. So ensuring that the teacher is knowledgeable about what's listed in IEP to include the modifications as well as accommodations will increase the likelihood for the student to have meaningful feedback as well as set uh, realistic goals to accomplish during their time that they're with that teacher. I hope these tools help.